Welcome to Maggie Walsall Van TV match preview Barrow Walsall on Tuesday night. Um, we have another game as well, the uh, Senior Cup uh, TV Dale Walsall. Um, that uh, Birmingham Senior Cup match um, is significant because Jack Earring could be having his first minutes back. So uh, if that goes well, I did have a, a little sneaky chat with uh, Jack Earring. Um, if that goes well, he could be on the bench Saturday for the uh, Alfreton game. So uh, that would be uh, good news for, for Jack Earring. Um, as far as Barrow are concerned, currently fifth in the league on 34 points. Warsaw 18th on a lowly 21 points. Uh, last five games, Warsaw just got three points, which is nowhere near good enough. Barrow, 13 points last five games. That's the difference. Uh, unbeaten in nine. That's a, a club record for Barrow. Um, Pete Wild doing a good job there. Um, clocked up 216 games as manager now, um, between uh, Halifax and Barrow, mainly. Um and he's got him playing well, hasn't he? Uh, Jamie Proctor, good target man. Uh, albeit at 31, 6 foot 2, holds the ball up well. And uh, Dom Telford. Um, not hitting the heights just yet. Uh, just the four goals for the season. But um, a useful front two. Um, George Ray, he's <laughs> scored the weekend. Um, so it's a centre-half scoring goals. Emil Aqua. As well, he's got five, I think, already. So uh, there's plenty to go for there. And um, they were struggling-ish against Colchester on Saturday. Um, Colchester's Jaden Fevrier, um, very, very strange. I haven't actually seen it myself, but apparently a player had gone down injured and he was trying to pull the physio off him. Um, so he was uh, sent off on 84 minutes. At, at one all, and then uh, Barrow, three goals in seven minutes to uh, finish them off. <sighs> Barrow, the uh, Galatasaray of League Two, we are told. And uh, it's not a trip I'm going to be making, but all being well, we will have a live stream. Watch along. Um, it'll either be with myself and Stephen, or maybe just Stephen. Depending on a few things. Um, for Warsaw, we won't have Oshin McEntee. I've been calling McEntee, but it's McEntee is uh, the correct pronunciation. I've been checking it today. We did hear after the match on Saturday, he was man of the match, of course. And uh, on the interview, we kept calling him McEntee. And his name's not McEntee, but it's McEntee. So uh, that's where the confusion is there. McEntee. I've written down here to remind me the uh, the correct pronunciation. Uh, Warshall Lyle to play 4 2 3 1. Um, Akagbu did well at right back. Um, Daniels and Gordon will be in there. So, who's going to play alongside Daniels? Is that going to be the Priest making a comeback? Or Rowling? Rowling, we thought was fit, but didn't feature in the squad on Saturday. So, uh, more likely to be the Priest. Um, CDM, Sturk and Conley, no doubt. Knowles, Hutch and Ram again. I think he's likely. And Draper up front. <sighs> Will Matt Sadler get through this rough spell? Or is his days numbered? Are his days numbered? Um, not playing our most valuable, most potent striker. In uh, DJ. Um, saw an ex Warsaw lad earlier. Um, and we're going to get him on the channel for a chat. George Bowerman. Quite a bit of history there with different things that went on. We'll try and get that out of him when, uh, when we get him on. But I asked him the same question I've asked many people. If you've got DJ, the most potent striker in your squad, are you going to work? Set the team up to pr make sure he's uh, getting the best out of him. Of course you are. So why is Matt Sadler not doing that? He's convinced 4-2-3-1 is the way to go. 
but he wasn't playing him when he was playing 3-5-2. So whatever management issue it is, cause it's got to be a management issue, because Matt Sadler surely is not saying, oh, he doesn't fit the system I want to play, when he's the best striker we've got at the club. That, oh, it's just, we're just running out of, running out of excuses for Matt Sadler. Um, at the end of the month, we're going to have our fan chat. And um, if he's still in situ, um, he will be a big part of the discussion. We're going to have a, a four keeping him and uh, a four letting him go. The four and against thing. And at the end of that, we'll do a uh, YouTube poll to uh, see what the consensus view is. And uh, I'm sure Ben Boycott and the Travella team will be watching and uh, listening for fan reaction. So uh, that's going to be quite an important one. So uh, make sure you catch that. That will be on the Sunday after the uh, Alfreton game on the Saturday. Right then. Prediction for tomorrow night. I think Walsall will definitely win against Tividale in the Senior Cup. But as for Barrow away... Club record and beta, nine. They don't concede many. I can't see Warsaw gain anything out of it. But you never know. It would be just typical Warsaw to go there and win. Um, right this second. I can't see it. Can you give me some positives? And... Um, we're doing a live stream watch along. The, uh, there is a word that uh, we don't win matches when I do a live stream watch along. But based on last season when we didn't win any away matches, um, this could be the different one. And if Stephen's involved, he was heading the show when we beat Northampton away from home. So um, maybe it's not all doom and gloom. We'll see. <laughs> right then, join the pain. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Um, we've just gone past 1,800, so uh, thanks to those that have subscribed already. For the rest, if you're enjoying the content, join the journey, and press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.